have my mommy helping me. Maybe crab. Crab the gun, this is the sauce for going in. You have to take like a small scrubbing brush and scrub the crab because you know it would have mud and debris stuck between the um, feet. And although they can it, you just want to double check and make sure all of the hairs came out. They just run back the knife over the leg. Season the crab, we're going to go in with some hot pepper. Okay, we're going to, she's going to go in with some pimento peppers. So this is onion. Celery and type. Minced garlic. And green seasoning. Black pepper now. So that was salt, not black pepper. So mix and marinate for about an hour minimum overnight if possible. So to make this crab, we're going to start with some fen fenugreek seeds in our pot with some oil. Fenugreek seeds, or also called methi seeds, can be found in any supermarket in the U.S. or in Trinidad and you can also source them online. So we're going to allow these to get brown before we continue with sorting some aromatics. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some curry powder. And I'm just using a mild curry powder. Usually I like to use the duck and goat also with this, but I don't have any on hand. And I'm going in with some anchar masala and some jeera powder. And we're gonna toast that. And you wanna toast this on a medium low or a low heat. Once the curry has fried for about a two to three minutes, going with some water. Allow the curry to cook until it turns into a thick paste and the oils start to separate from the curry. I'm gonna go in with the crab. I'm gonna toss to coat that crab with the curry powder. And now you wanna raise your heat to high. So this can punch it on or fry up in the curry. So this has been frying for about eight minutes. Now I'm gonna go in with some coconut milk and I'm using fresh coconut milk. So now we just want this to come up to a boil and then we'll add in some dumplings. So the dumpling recipe is flour and water. We don't put any salt. If you want, you could put some green seasoning. But it's just flour and water. And then we're gonna roll it out and just cut it into squares. So once the sauce starts to thicken up, 
you would watch the consistency and know if you want the sauce to be thinner or thicker. So we need this just to be a little thicker and then this would be ready. And you would want to taste and adjust your salt. So the crab and dumplings are finished. And now I'm going to sit down and enjoy some of this. So guys, here is the crab, crab and dumpling plated. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in my next video.